Hey ladies, I've got a day off today and I've been shopping, which is very exciting. I never go shopping on my own and I haven't brought anything for my baby, which sounds really harsh to those of you that don't have kids. But just let me reassure you, I love him more than anything else in the entire world. But sometimes, mummies need a break, okay? My mum's got him for the day. Oh my god, it's such a good haul. It was exciting and fun and feels good. Anyway, oh, I will insert here a little outfit of the day. Okay, so, I don't even know why I'm doing an outfit of the day. But today I thought I looked particularly hot. <laughs> so, I'm kidding, I don't. Okay. The jumper, the shirt, are both so old that you wouldn't be able to get them anyway, even if you wanted to, which you probably don't. The jeans are from Gap, and that's keys in my pocket, I'm not just pleased to see. The boots are from Zara, I'm pretty sure you can still get them. No, they're not. No, I tell a lie. The boots are from white stuff. And the sunglasses, sorry about the weird mirror. The sunglasses are from H&M. And I really like them. Um, I don't normally do this, but I wanted to go to um, L'Occitane. And I don't know, I, I get really easily... Um, what's the word? What's the word? What's the word? I have no idea what the word is. Anyway, I just I just feel wrong in those kind of shops. I walk in and I feel edgy and like everyone's judging me and so I prefer to dress up to go to places like that. Um, so I did and uh, I think it worked actually. I felt much better in there and the assistant, rather than being like, huh, which I feel like they normally do. They probably don't, but I feel like they do. I feel like they're like, yeah, right, yeah, what are you doing in my shop? But this time she was all over me, she was really helpful, and uh, yeah, it was good. So that worked out. But other than that, it wasn't all Lachetan. Lachetan was the high end, and then we went very low end. Anyway, shall we get started? First of all, I went to Primark, which I never go to Primark, ever. And it's not, be I, I am slightly against Primark because of some of the ethics, um, but you know what? When you need new clothes and bits and pieces like that, you need to cheap, right? So, first things first. Oh, look at this. These are pyjama bottoms. Aren't they the most beautiful, summery, springy, lovely pyjama bottoms in the entire world? Um, I'm sorry I'm wearing them. It's difficult to show you them properly, but I couldn't wait to get them on, so. So I'm wearing them. Um, yeah, so I got these. I also got myself a new baby bag. This is not technically like a nappy bag, but it's it's just a big bag with a big handle. And this is the kind of bag I prefer to carry nappies in because I use cloth nappies and they're quite bulky. So it's best to have a big bag. But this is not the kind of bag I would buy for me to use. But it's so kiddy, but not in a embarrassing way. Do you know what I mean? I think I know what I mean. I just, I love it. It's kind of pretty, but it's also, it's, it's quite manly at the same time, so it's good for a boy, right? I love this. I'm really, really happy with it. And it's really cheap, because it's, it's, it's not Henny's. It's Primark. But it's really cheap. It was six quid. The pyjama bottom, how much were you? Also six quid? I think. It could have been. Anyway, so, yeah, pyjama bottoms. This bag. And then also, oh, it's, this is so cheap. This is... This is like a quid fifty, I think, or maybe two pounds fifty. But either way, it was so cheap. But it's uh, argan oil from Morocco, basically hair oil. Um, I use the the L'Oreal hair oil at the moment, but you know, two pound fifty, quid fifty, whatever it was, give it a try. It was from Primark, so it's not going to be good, but it might be okay. Next up was H and M, which I love. I love H and M, and I got. A dress. This is all stuff for spring. Like this, this I love. I love it when the seasons kind of change. And finally, because it's been winter basically for the last twenty-five years here, um, finally it's spring. And I'm like, oh my god, let's get some spring type things. You know what I mean? It's like it's like a renewing. You know what I mean? Like a spring cleaning maybe. But I got this dress, which I love. It has. Can you see that the detailing? It's 
so pretty at the top there and it's also it's on the back as well so I don't know how that's going to work with a bra strap but we'll find out it's got a little well, a fabric belt just basically a, a tie a fabric tie to create a waist and then it's got the same effect at the bottom I love it it's like a jersey material I really love that in fact I love that more than I thought I did the other thing I got was a bit of an impulse buy. <laughs> this is not the kind of thing I would normally get at all. Um, it's not even in my size, but I just decided that... I didn't even decide I loved it. I, I just felt the need to buy it. Um, I think I just... I basically, this whole shopping day went to my head a bit. I haven't done this in over two years now. About two years. <laughs> it went to my head a little bit. So I bought, basically... When I wear this, I kind of look like a pilot, <laughs> like something, somebody with military honours. Okay, but it's silk and it's comfy, and I just, I think, hopefully, for like a night out, um, with a bit of red lippy, um, all that kind of thing. I think this would be really nice. It's, it, I mean, it is actually. It feels like silk. Is it actually silk? Let me just find a label. No, it's, it's polyester. Oh, it's not poly it's not silk at all. It's 100% polyester. For the price, you're not going to get silk. But it feels like silk. It kind of looks like silk. And it's really cool to wear. And like I said, it looks slightly odd on. <laughs> but I haven't worn it like with skinny jeans and all dressed up. And I don't know. It's, it's kind of cheap. 15 quid. Can't go wrong. The dress was 13 quid. So that was Henny's. Oh, not all Henny's. I also, I went out um, and I couldn't find my sunglasses and my, I realised my partner had taken them to work in his car. So, And I really, sometimes I get a bit panicky if I'm out and about on my own and I'm not wearing sunglasses. Does, that, does anyone, like, get that at all? But I just, I kind of feel like I need to hide behind my sunglasses a little bit. But I love these. I so love these. These are from Henny's. I, I have no idea how much they were because I've, I took all of the tags and things off the second I got out of the shop and put them on. Um, but they were cheap, I mean it's Henny's. When I say Henny's I mean H&M, I just, I'm old enough to call it Henny's, okay? <laughs> but I love these, look. Aren't they just adorable? I love them so much. Really love them. So that's Henny's. Very nice. Next up uh, was Boots. Now, I have been looking, well, I've been getting excited recently about the idea of like a honey scented um, body lotion because it's more kind of summery and springy and it just sounds really lovely to me and I was looking at like the L'Occitane Gentle Honey um, Cream I was looking at Burt's and Bees Milk and Honey Lotion and there were a few others as well I can't remember but I mean all of them were quite expensive and I hadn't managed to smell any of them yet um, this is the, the plan today was to go to these various shops because I, you know you don't want to fork out a bunch of money over uh, online and find that actually you hate the smell you know what's the point of that um, but before I got to any of these other shops I went to Boots and I just on a whim picked up Boots Royal Jelly with extracts of pure honey nourishing body souffle can you see that? I don't know how long it takes to focus. It's probably focused now. Anyway, this was like £2.50. Something like that. And none of these prices are exact, but like £2.50. And it smells. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> In fact, that's even better than I thought it was. It's so delicious. It's it's not a really strong honey smell, but there's definitely honey in it. And it smells like the loveliest um, suntan lotion on holiday. To me, anyway. I don't, maybe that's just a particular type I had, but oh my god, it's so, so delicious. Um, I don't know that the ingredients are all that grey, but it hardly matters. It's so cheap, and it's, this, it's beyond the smell I wanted. This is just, oh, so, so happy with this. This is good stuff. The next thing I got... I I never ever ever paint my nails. I used to paint my nails years ago. I, I kind of did it sporadically. I only ever painted them either with clear nail varnish or I painted them red. And when I painted them red, I kind of looked like a transvestite because I have quite big hands. Not that there's anything wrong with being a transvestite, but I'm not one, so you know, I don't want to look like one. Um, it's just, just me. 
But just recently, I I bought some nail varnish on a whim, and I painted my nails, and I'm completely in love with the way that they look. So I got this whole thing in my head of like, oh my god, I need to um, sort my cuticles out. I need to, you know, just yeah, get into nail care. These were really badly done, by the way. Um, so today, I bought this. Kiss Cuticle Trimmer and Groomer Duo. I didn't really want the trimmer because I, I've heard that you shouldn't really actually trim your cuticles, you should just periodically push them back a bit and soften them. Excuse me. Um, but I wanted this, which is like the, the thingy, it's like double ended. The bottom end kind of pushes the cuticle back, and the top end cleans the gunk out of the inside of the nail. Um, yeah. This is like six quid, which is more than I wanted to spend, but who knows? Who knows? It could be worthwhile.